What's going on everyone? We are back at Stick With 3 version 2900. And before we begin, I do want to note this since I'm probably going to get the questions. For those of you who aren't aware, in the previous version, 2854, it was possible to glitch the game out to get the Juggernaut and the Rip Rider, two unreleased units. If you were thinking you can do this in 2900, stop, because you cannot do that. That bug has been fixed. So that's just to answer any questions of, hey, how do I do the glitch for 2900? You can't do it. They so fix it in 2900. And if you're not on 2854, well, sorry, you're screwed. You're going to have to wait until the units officially release. But I am on version 2900, so I can finally make this update video. I have 2800, excuse me, 2854 on a second device. So if I decide to mess around on that, I can do that. But yeah, we got a lot of uh, balance changes, a lot of buffs going on. Eclipse has got a damage buff. Atreos got a health and damage buff. Salvador Smithy got a buff. Secret Tunnel got a quote unquote buff. It's significantly cheaper now, like way cheaper, but I still think it's completely worthless. Uh, Pike got a buff. The hitbox for double the damage got increased massively. So it's very easy to land double the damage, and that's terrifying for the newly buffed Atreos, who now does 35 damage as opposed to 30. That's going to be a lot. I tested out Pike control of Atreos and he is an absolute demon and also a monstrous tank now at 700 HP. And there's probably a bunch of other changes that I'm missing but I don't know them all. Since everyone has the same version I would assume that multiplayer has an active pool now. So we're going to jump into this Attempt this spear clips or set up and probably get completely destroyed. Alright, here we go. We got smut smit we got disaster. We'll attempt this sword opening. I do want to early mana in case I need to get a spear to not like ASAP. Like I said, I don't know how well this is gonna go. I have not used eclipsers in a very long time. And since they are buffed now, I want to see if they are worth it or if they're still completely useless we're about to find out wait why am i controlling this i don't need to control it oh we got sickles how did that nah never mind i wasn't even close enough well the good news is i can what oh no this guy's full on sickle wrath massing yep this is a full sickle wrath mass wow what a start what a start to coming back to this so I think I played right going early Spear. Now I need to go early Eclipser so I can get that tower away from him, and he can't go for that. The good news is it does not seem like he has the staff because we don't see the dead. We didn't see the dead from that, but I got my Spear tin, and I'll make a sword behind it, though I'm probably not gonna go more than one sword because uh, they're not gonna really do much against a bunch of group sick. Because the good news is these guys are terrible when fighting heavy units. So we're going to just easily stump on these guys for a little bit. And he goes for another Tesla coil. All right, well, I'll, I will patiently sit here and wait this out. I've already killed two. I have already killed two of your sickle wrath. All I got to do is sit here, chill, wait until this phase and I can reattack. He's just stacking sickles on the tower and like not making any moves. There we go. Here I am again. You haven't killed me yet. What is, he's going for a wall? This is, okay. What is the plan here with, with well, a good, I mean, I'll go ahead and just uh, take away your tower control, so now you can't go for that. Seems like he's trying to stall me out. He might be trying to, Matt, wait. This could be Sickle Spear or Sickle Ninja, whatever stupid crap. I don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna rush. Because uh, we don't like to see this. We don't like to see stalling from walls. Yeah, I'm not scared of your one cast, Larcher. We'll clap a minor at least. Yeah, look at that. Look at that eco. Look at that economy, dude. That's ridiculous. Yeah, he's trying to mass full on sickles in the castle. Well, guess what? I got the Spiritan Tower spawn, which should do a good job in stopping this turtle. And like I said, I'm willing to sacrifice spears to kill miners. Like I care less about your dumb. Yep, we got sickle magi kill from this person. 
That's wonderful. <laughs> oh my god. The goddamn match I kill is here. You gotta be kidding me. All right. I need to preemptively get my castle archers together. But I'm gonna wait before I buy it because we don't need it just yet. In this instance, we're probably gonna need a lot more eclipsers than anything else. All right, here we go. It's time to try some moves with the spear tent, cause uh, I hate your magi kill and I want them dead. All right, since that didn't work, we'll target miners next. Oh my god, he already has three of them. And a whole bunch of sickles on top of that. Is he fully... No, he's not fully attacking yet. This is going to be a very, very, very tough situation here. A very tough defense to break. Especially since he's already, he's already going for the upgrade of minor walls. Oh, and the castle just can reach us from that far away. Awesome. I love the, the first game that I get coming back to coming back to this game is the Sickle Wrath Magi Kill Spammer. That's just what I wanted coming back here. God, I miss this. He's endlessly throwing the minions at me. Why? I don't know. They don't cost you pop anymore. So like what? Why is he bothering to do this? I guess it's just to keep my uh, eclipses occupied. I don't know. I'm preparing a line of spirits just in case, but uh, I don't know. I might even have to spirit distract this stupid crap to counter it, because I don't see any other way of how we're going to do it. What's crucial is that we hold on to the tower for as long as possible. The spirit and tower spawn is our only chance. If we lose the tower, then you might as well say we're like done for. Woohoo! He has five magi kill! You know, I, I love that we got the stupid minion summoner, Magi Kill, instead of the one from Stick Empires, which would have been infinitely better. I can't stay here because we're being targeted. Well, there we go. Here's my full army. Don't know when I'm going to be able to push in, though. The good news is I have Vault of Prudence and it is slowly building. So at least I have, like, a fallback. I can keep buying crap if I need to. But the thing is, if I lose everything, I'm not going to have enough time to rebuild it. So, like, you know, it doesn't matter how much gold I have. If I can't rebuild the army in time, is it really worth anything? Okay, there's a Sickle Wrath coming out now. Is he going to forego all of this Sickle Wrath and just full-on magic kill spam me? I don't know, but this is stupid. Let's see. He just put all of his Sickle Wrath either on whole command or garrison. Garrison, now he has six Magi kill. <sighs> I'm just waiting for the last tier tower spawn to finish, and it's about to finish. So, uh, with that, I'll probably go for a full attack, but not bring the Spiritons in close enough because we don't want them getting AoE blast to the death until we break that minor wall. Once we break that wall, then I will. They hope that we can make something happen after that. I'm seeing a lot more sicker wrath now. That he's just letting he's just throwing them away. I'm assuming it's to get more wizards. That's the only reason why I would see him do this. Alright, we're going in. We are going in. But the Spiritans? All of you guys are gonna Hey, hey, hey. I told I told I told you guys to hold. What are you doing? Hold command. Oh my god. It's lagging so bad that I can't get my spears to hold command. This is stupid.
Oh great, now he's building another wall. Oh my god. Okay, uh, I think my spiritons have completely lost the definition of a whole command. Do, do they just not listen? They just don't, they don't listen. What the hell is this? Okay, you know what? I, I guess, I guess we're going all in then. Because I'm, I'm trying to tell my spirits to hold. They, they don't listen. This, this, this whole command not work? This whole command not work. I can't. Okay. So screw it. I, I guess I guess we're fully rushing now. I have no control over my stuff. None whatsoever. All right, we're falling back to the tower now, I guess. Oh, and he's going to take that opportunity to attack. Yep. Awesome. This would have been perked if I had Tesla coal, but I, I got rid of that. Oh, here we go. I actually managed to get my next tower spawn out. And yeah, I had to spear distract him there because uh, I don't see anything else I can do here, really. And uh, yeah, eclipses are still slow in this game, so we're not going to be as punishing on these magi kill as I would like us to be. Nope. The majority of them are still going to get away. But you know, I don't care. I'm still going to commit to this rush. We managed to break both of his walls. I'm gonna keep running in here, I don't care. Gonna kill another wizard there, nice. Kill another wizard, kill another wizard. I am starting to get happy now. Oh yeah, I think I have him cornered now. He can't even bring his wizards back out. Oh my god, okay. I guess I gotta fully back my wings off. Every time they get every time they move forward, they get freaking targeted by the castle archers. And again, I can't control them because this lag. This lag and just trying to tap everywhere is just stupid. But here we go, I think I'm gonna break his statue. Well what do you know? i I guess I counted a stupid match I killed master. All right, time for a change up. I can't even judge on how effective the eclipses were. I don't think I can say that they're bad because magic kill spam is always stupid and extremely hard to break through no matter what strat you run unless you do a whole early summoning staff rush, which no, I'm never gonna do that. So we're changing things up here. Uh, the Voltaic Arrows, I, bought, I brought that to see if it would be effective with eclipses and what a waste. So I just got rid of that crap. We got Salvador Smithy instead. We're testing out the buff for that. I'm gonna keep the tower spawn, but I got Glacial Fletching and Cephos. So I can, you know, say no to Magi Kill, basically. Alright, we get ecstatic dubs now, and oh great, the right side. I love the right side. Just so fun when I get the right side. It really is. We saw the Blazing Bolts Mythic, so we're probably gonna see an Arch to start here. Am I right? I am wrong, we're seeing a sword start instead. I almost never see that anymore. But he wants to allow me to take the tower. I will gladly oblige and will use this sword to scout and see what he's got coming next. He garrison the sword. Okay then, is he sword massing me now or what? I see no reason to, well I guess he doesn't want to rush from me. Who knows, 
I will get a couple of more swords just for that sense of security in case he does try to. Never mind, there's the archer. All right, we're gonna go for the spirited instead. I don't think we're ready for the wing just yet. I will do it at some point, but not right now. We just want to get our economy increased in power by just a little bit since this is an expensive setup. Wings are very taxing on an economy early on, which kind of cripples their potential, but whatever. I got my spirit in now, so let's make it happen. All right, Zephos is here. We're gonna go for Tower Spawn and we're going to go for a rush. I think it is about that time. There's a lightning storm. You know what, whatever, who cares? Uh, I'm going to say hello to your archers. Oh, what a freaking hit. Absolutely textbook. And Zephos just annihilates three archers and a goddamn sword. What? I cannot believe it. I do. I 180 that so fast, and I'm gonna get this Merrick. That was so freaking quick. Oh my god. Just one leap attack, dude. One leap attack, and we annihilated all that. Now, the, the next time he lightning storms, I'm just gonna laugh at it because I don't even. It's not even gonna be strong enough to kill anything. I don't even know why I backed off from it in the first place. But here we go. We're getting a lot of resources here, so we need to just get heavy. Heavy spirit clips are out here. And uh, he has three spirit tins, but uh, I have a unit that kind of annihilates heavy units. Hey, I said attack, not defend. Uh, those castle archers are out. But uh, we'll kill some Spiritans here, honestly. And we'll go for statue damage while we're here. Lightning Storm, I don't care about that. Is it targeting me? It is, but again, I don't think I care. I just don't care about it. All right, we'll pull Zephos out now, get the wings away. He's really going to attempt another push. He's probably going to, yeah, he's going to Lightning Storm again. And yeah, all I got to do is just commit to a push here for a little bit. And then I have nothing to worry about. This whole garrison dance that he's doing ain't going to work out well. I can get free damage on his spears by doing this. Like, I don't think he realizes that he kind of, yeah, that's the end of that game. Okay, we'll do one more match, and this is probably a massive mistake, but I'm going to see if I can maybe get a 2v2 game. Like I said, I'm probably making the biggest mistake of my life because the 2v2 pool is not exactly full of the smartest people. You're uh, going to get a lot of low-ranked players there because there is no ranked system in 2v2. It's all just casual. And that results in you getting a lot of teammates that don't work with you or make stupid decisions. Or you get two opponents that just sit there and surrender the second they see a miner rushing at them. Or you end up getting screwed by two cracked opponents that run double all archer mass summoning staff at you. So uh, that's why I have I've been like avoiding 2v2 for the longest time. The only videos of 2v2 on my channel are when I play with 75G because that's the best 2v2 experience that you can get when you are playing with someone that you know and you can coordinate and make good decisions together. Not when you're matched up with a completely random person and they don't even want to attack with you instead of just sit at their base and spam acid rain. So I don't know, I'm going into this completely blind and hoping maybe I don't know, I get lucky with a good teammate. All right, here we go. My teammate here and whatever he's running versus our two opponents. So probably making a big mistake not bringing archers because double archer start <laughs> is something insanely ridiculous. So I will be ready for an early spirit if I need to get one. 
Meanwhile, my teammate's gonna do what appears to be a full eco start, meaning I'm gonna be going for tower by myself. And the moment I see an archer, yep, du double archer. I told you to back up! Double archer, and uh, this guy's probably dead. No? All right, I think he's fine. But yeah, this is exactly why I need to get the 50 mana for my spear tin. There we go, in the queue. Kind of expected that was gonna happen. So they're running double archer. Is it all archer? Don't know, but we're gonna find out very soon. This means the cliffs are gonna be even more vulnerable in this case. All right, I have my spear tin. I'm just gonna have them go out, do some things, say hello to the archers, and make them back off attack. There's three of them. Yeah, get off the, oh, there's a Tesla coil. That's a bad sign. Because if they, if they got tower spawn, and they both have double tower spawn, <laughs> yeah, I think it's safe to say we're done for there. All right, I'll just send these away then, get an Eclipser out. Uh, hey teammate, you don't you don't need to mask garrison. It's one archer. It's one archer. Why are you completely mass garrisoning to a single archer? That's already a bad sign. That's already a very bad sign for me. You he did not need to do that. That was one archer that was getting forced away by my castle archer. You don't need to mass garrison to that. This is not good. <laughs> This is not good. I feel like they've already got like 50 archers compared to like one wing here. Yep, tower spawn. Tower spawn. Why am I not surprised? I bet he's gonna mass garrison again. So yeah, I'll just sit here and hit this. And then I'll hit these. Get another spear ten. We'll kill that. We'll kill this. And the Tesla coil, fall back. That Spiritan's safe, back this one up. And my teammate is nowhere to be found. Yeah, he's just now coming out. And he has a Treos. Okay. Is he gonna run a Pike Atreos strat? Because that will actually change a lot of things here. I don't know what the case is, but uh... Yeah, we're not safe out here now. I think this time we need to mass Garrison, absolutely. Okay, I stand corrected. Uh, <laughs> it looks like we're gonna get annihilated. He, what? Okay, he has the Trails and Spiros, and he, he used the deep freeze way too early. Okay then. But t tell me you have more than that, right? Wait, why did he waste the deep freeze? He didn't even use the ice path yet. Wait, why are you why are you full attacking with it? You gotta be kidding me. Stop, teammate. You're not What is this? I didn't even have time to go for my like giants or anything. So we have Spiros and Atreos, nothing else. Legit has nothing else. And yeah, there's all that coming in. Yeah, that's gonna be another mass garrison. Unless he doesn't want to. Okay, cool. I guess I won't do it either. There he goes again. He's deep freezing without using the ice. You have to use the ice pad first. You can't just deep freeze and think that it's gonna work. And now the enemy has center tower build speed. That's awesome. Oh, we're seeing ninjas now too from yellow team. Yep. This pretty much confirms why I don't play 2v2 because of uh, situations like this. I have a teammate that isn't the smartest person ever. And it seems these two are very well coordinated, our, our two opponents seem to be anyway. Please use your ice path first before you deep freeze. 
Okay, there we go. He goes for the ice pad. They okay, he used it right. But I don't think it's going to work. It is way too late for that. It is way too late. He should have used that ice pad and that deep freeze a very, very long time ago. But he used it wrong twice. And uh, yeah, we're dead. The, the Atreus rushing around is not going to work. I need to see what deck he was running because what is this? I got no support from him. None whatsoever. Except two generals that couldn't even do that much. Piss off with your stupid yawn emoji. God, I wish they would delete that crap. Uh, uh, wh what is this? What is this deck? What the hell is this deck? Freaking King Zarek and Thera. He had two of the most useless generals in the entire game. And spear spam. And he had pike. He could have ran the pike a trail strat. But he brings out the two spiritan generals and nothing else. Meanwhile, we were up against double spiritur from our opponents. So yeah, I, I was definitely lucky this game. Okay, well we found Oh wait. <laughs> it just said that one of the players left the game, which happened to be my teammate. My teammate left the game. Oh, that's just awesome. It's <laughs> of course. Now I have no idea if my teammates here. I I have to be. I, I swear to God, I had to be the unluckiest piece of crap in the world. How? What are the chances that this two v two game starts, and it's my teammate, my teammate that disconnects or whatever the heck he did. Now I have no idea if this is my it's my teammate. Okay, use emojis. All right, he's here. I will stop complaining for now anyway. But here we go. We did my I did my start and surprisingly, no double archer, no anything from our opponents. We see an archer on from red team, which I will rush it. I will rush this, and we'll kill it. Yeah, we'll we'll kill that and we'll fall back because yellow team is going to garrison completely. All right, I'm content with that. We got an archer kill. Oh, there's an archer from, uh, oh, that's my teammate's archer. We killed an archer from red team. I would say that is pretty worth, you know, we'll, we'll garrison this. I don't see a reason to keep it here. I am going to go for a spear tin and you know, we're going to try early pike spear tin and just see how effective it turns out to be. It probably is going to give away the fact that I have a trails to our opponents, but what does it matter? My teammate made a spear tin, and it looks like he has the voltaic effect on him. He has voltaic armor, cool. Nothing going to the tower from our opponents. Thankfully, this gives us extra vision so we can figure this out. There's my spear tin, all right. The second pike loads, I'm gonna go in. And since we have no mythic enchantment, I am not going to waste my gold on the second tier pike. There is no need for it. Instead, I'm just gonna run in here and I'm gonna say hello. Oh, yellow team has Thera? Okay, well, that's a waste of the flight of the fourth told for one miner. Looks like my teammate won. Oh, my teammate has Pike. Is he running a Pike of Trails strat? Hey, teammate, you might wanna back up your archers. You wait way too late for that. Okay, his archers are dead, like all three of them, cool. But it's interesting to see that my teammate has Pike, but does he have a Trails too? Because if we're both running Pike at Trails, I'm gonna feel real bad for our opponents here, like really bad. Both of our opponents have Thera. Okay. Now I'm, I'm kind of just killing things now. Okay, there we go. Yellow Team Stara is gone. Yellow Team now has Spiros. I wasn't expecting to see Spiros from Yellow Team, but I have Pike Atreus now, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just run in here and kill things. And they're gonna double surrender. 
Okay, uh, fine, forget it. Uh, that's gonna be the end of the video.